Walters, Waldos, or Marble Eyes. Whatever you call them, walleyes can be a tough nut to crack. Each day in the water, another game of chess. And just when you think it's checkmate, everything changes again. Fact is, walleye fishing isn't what it was 30, 20, or even just a few years ago. There's a host of new factors at play, like aquatic invasive species, which can drastically change habit. Longer and shorter seasons, climate change, and strange weather, which alters the walleye behavior patterns. And social media, which can blow the lid off spots and patterns when the bite lights up. Despite all this, we're living in an era of incredible walleye fishing. It's just that we've had to adapt, just like the walleyes, to changing conditions. We've also had to embrace some new fish catching systems and techniques, like power fishing for reaction bites with soft plastics, cranks, and jigging wraps, or spending more time finding bottom transitions or pitching the weeds. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's that successful walleye anglers are constantly adapting to changing conditions. On today's Edge, Al and Dan Linder demonstrate winning walleye ways and discuss how the sport has changed given AIS as well as changing weather and climate patterns. Whoa! Easy, Mama. Look at that. These big gals are out on structure. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. You know, one of the most often asked questions I get from friends or people I meet when they find out I make television fishing shows is, do you guys catch fish like that all the time? And the truth is, no. Trust me, I've been on my share of failed film shoots, but it wasn't for lack of effort. We always try and put the odds in our favor when filming. We have to. Nobody wants to watch a bunch of numbskulls running around a lake not catching fish. We always watch the weather, do research on lakes, get local intel, and eventually do our homework on the water prior to filming. This brings up a point. We use our electronics to the max. We don't even wet a line till we mark bait and fish. Oh, and in this it. case, Al and I are chasing yeah. walleyes, and this is as close to shooting walleye. fish in a barrel as it gets. And it's a good one. Is it? I'm in the rear with the gear. Net and it's a good one. Right where they like to live, Dan. <laughs> oh, that's a better one, they Al. Like to live. Look at that. I see a big, uh, I see a big, big white belly coming up. Nice. Whoa. 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 whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'll get hang him on, hang you. on, hang on. Oh, there she is, Dan. There she is. Got her? Go. Okay, hang on. Oh, don't let her shake, Dan. Don't let her shake. Ah, perfect. Perfect. A one hooker. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Huh? I like when they do that. Nice eyeball. Obviously, Dan Linder and I are fishing for walleyes today. Yeah, you know, I gotta I gotta tell you a little story. A couple of days ago. Uh, I was doing an interview for a magazine article. And uh, uh, the guy asked me a whole bunch of questions. And one of the questions were, hey Al, you've been in a business a long, long, long time. What are you seeing today that is impacting our industry in a big way? Well, the answer was pretty easy. It's invasive species, it's climate change, and what do you think the other one is? It's social media. These three things are impacting our sport in ways I've never seen before. Today, Dan and I only want to talk about two of these three elements. We want to talk about climate change and invasive, invasive species. The other subject matter, social media, that's going to be another television show. And I think you're going to find that one interesting. Yeah, it's interesting, Al, the climate change and AIS problem is affecting more than fishermen nowadays. It's affecting all recreational water sports. I mean, I don't care if you're a wakeboarder, or if you're a kayak guy, if you're a duck hunter and you use a boat, all of these things are impacted by climate and by the AIS. 
Oh, got mine. You got one. I got one. Spotlock, we're on them, Al. They're, they're attacking the boats. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. They're attacking the boat. They're coming in like torpedoes, walleye pedos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to coin that phrase, I walleye pedos. I love it, Dan. <laughs> It is fun, isn't it? It's oh, a dude, gas, look at this way to wait. You don't need oh, a net. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. I got an eater. An eater. You got him. I got you an got eater. That's the money fish <laughs> when it comes to walleyes. Yep. Ah, you know, the super duper eaters. Super duper. Super duper. You know, one of the things that ha happened to a lot of our fisheries today because of zebra mussels is, is when we've stocked fry for so many years in so many of our lakes. It's worked for many, many years. Now it doesn't work anymore on a lot of bodies of water. They have to go and start stocking uh, 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 six, seven, eight, fish, eight, eight inch fish, fall fish in these lakes, which means it's gonna cost more money. So that's a negative, but we're gonna get a jump on things. Problematic. All right, Al. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you want me to net something. Yeah, I can't even move them. I suppose you want me to net them. One thing I'll have I... to say, boy, you you, de you definitely want to play these fish out when you're fishing with these reaction baits. You know what I mean? There we go. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, get him, Al. Get quick, him, quick, him. quick. Oh. Get him. No. <laughs> what a net, Jeff. Uh, get him this, this way. Yeah, my Good hero, my hero. Dump this fish. Hell, <laughs> my hero. My hero, and the hook popped out of the net perfectly. <laughs> that was that was fun, man. Look at that fish of all sizes. You catch big fish, you catch medium fish, you catch a lot of eater fish. If you're if you're looking for those, we'll get this guy back in the water. Okay. <laughs> you know we've been talking about. Uh, climate change and AIS and all that stuff and it's interesting you know with the climate change up north we, we're seeing a lot longer growing season which can be a benefit for us you know the fish are getting a longer growing cycle we're getting bigger fish now conversely to that down south they got a longer growing season it can get too hot so there's kind of some pros and cons to uh, the, the climate change that we're dealing with today I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drift back in a second, Dan, 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 Dan I'm, I'm kind of coming, oh, got him. Yeah, you, come on, drift uh, back. Uh. Sifo Motor Treatment congratulates Super Gas Champ Jim Davis for winning the 2017 Lucas Oil NHRA Nationals. Help your engine run smoother and last longer with Sifo Motor Treatment. Just pour it in. Seafoam Motor Treatment works to clean, lubricate, and protect your entire fuel system, no matter what moves you. Seafoam Motor Treatment is safe and easy to use. Make the proven choice. Seafoam Motor Treatment, available everywhere automotive products are sold. At Mercury, we only do things one way, boldly. So before we introduce the most advanced outboard in history, we subjected it to extreme torture tests. Log strikes, metal fatigue, years worth of saltwater exposure. We tried 3,286 creative ways to destroy it. And now that it's passed our tests, it's ready for yours. Introducing the all new V6 Mercury four strokes. Lighter, quicker, more efficient. Mercury, go boldly. There's no place like this. Yes! Paid to put fish in the boat, you don't mess around with the thing that puts fish in the boat. Always use the best line. This segment is brought to you by Gill Technical Fishing Gear.
you, you're casting up oh, that, that time, weren't you? Oh, coming up. That's a good one. Good one? That's a good one, Dano. Are you gonna That's need one my... of them ones like you caught, I think. Are you going to need my services? I'm going to need... Eh, I'm not sure yet. I will get ready because you don't have time no, to... No, no, no. It ain't a big one. Never mind. It's just oh, a it's couple. Oh, it's a good one. That's nice, a good nice one. one. Whoa. Here, I'll, I'll be up. Okay, yeah, I'll get this dude out of here for you. I mean, it really okay. is amazing how sharp... Yeah, yeah, you know, or that, that, that <coughs> the hooks are on that jigging wrap. Uh, they hook everything that bites gets hooked. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing bait. Yeah, you know, <coughs> a lot of natural reproduction is probably going to get impacted by some of this AIS stuff. Uh, uh, it's so. It, it's still relatively new. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know about the overall imp impact that, that we're seeing, particularly on walleyes. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's, we're in a major learning curve now, so, uh, yeah, you know, like our Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, walleyes is a big money fish in our state. That's why they're so concerned about AIS. You know, we lo lose or lose our, uh, our a bit of our walleye population, that's big money in this state, just like it is in Wisconsin, the Dakotas, Michigan. You know, in my home state of Minnesota, they've taken a very aggressive approach to battling AIS. And uh, they're spending a lot of money on public awareness. And the fact of the matter is, um, a lot of lakes don't have AIS in it. But that doesn't mean that you don't pay attention, you don't watch what you're doing, you know, it's just something that you gotta keep at bay. Ooh. Yeah. You're gonna get them. Oh, you see that one right there. Three of them, yeah. Oh, three of them down oh, there. Oh, those dudes want to eat big time. Oh, there we Got go. Him. Yep, yep. Just saw those fish on the electronics. Yeah, I just seen two of them there. That's so much fun when you see fish on your electronics, and your anticipation level goes up, 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 and bingo, you get them. Nothing. It's, it's similar to topwater fishing now, but you're using your electronics, yeah. you know what I mean? Sight fishing, sight fishing, here he comes. There we go, whoa! Where's your net? Look at that Ooh, tank! Big, big fish, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fish well, that's just, a big fish. That is a big fish. He's got fish, a really man. big one, a real donkey. Real donkey. Oh, there he comes, here he comes. Seven. Whoa! Oh, there you go, man. Oh, look at the size of this elephant. Elephant, walleye, holy moly. Holy cow, I gotta get the tools out for this guy. Oh, the hook popped out of the net, perfect. Boy, that's Whoa. a big one. Easy, mama, look at that. These big gals are out on structure. And I wanna show you some of the baits that we use when fish are on structure. Look at this. Wow, what a tank. That's that big mark that I saw. Boy, that was a big, big walleye. I haven't caught a walleye like that in a long time. So like I was saying, when walleyes are on structure, particularly structure without a lot of cover on it, meaning wood, weeds, rock, there's two baits that are primary, primary reaction baits. One is the rip and wrap, the Rattala, Rappala rip and wrap. That's a very successful bait and uh, one that Al's using, which is the jig and wrap. These are mainstays for us when you're fishing deep, power fishing. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Okay, Dano. Whoa. Spot lock, spot lock, again, again, again. Lund Boats has two smoking deals for making memories this summer. Lund 1650 Rebel XS is an incredible boat at an incredible price. This boat is filled with features like side and center rod lockers, aerated live well, and a heavy duty trailer with fold away tongue. Add the optional flip up seating and ski pylon for family fun. Or choose Lund 1625 Fury XL. It has all the fish catching features you'd expect from Lund at a jaw dropping price. For more information and a free catalog, go to LundBoats.com. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. 
And it's only from Humminbird. We need that cortisol. Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather. So stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass. Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop. Auto stow and deploy, power trim, and your choice of iPilot or iPilot link. <laughs> Altera from Minn Kota. We can't believe it either. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. There we go. Okay, Ooh. another one. I'm yeah. telling you. Very <coughs> gentle. Yeah, I got well, that's a better fish, better than, better than average, Al. You know, that jig and wrap and rip and wrap are reaction baits. And I'm telling you, we've had phenomenal results. And we've been talking about this for five, six years. There is a difference between a reaction bite and a live bait rig bite. Oh, I want to say something about rod reel and line two. <coughs> On the bigger baits, on the rip and wrap, we use bait casting rods, medium action, uh, uh, six, 10, seven foot, some, something like that. 12 pound test, fluorocarbon or mono is preferred. When we're fishing the jig and wrap like this, I'm throw, throw, throwing a St. Croix Icon. The Icon are a series of rods that they make specifically, St. Croix makes specifically for walleyes. And I've got the new, uh, uh, a a di Daiwa Ballistic on here. It's a new material, super light, incredibly strong. You pair it up. I like monofilament when I'm fishing a jig and wrap. It's a little more forgiving. And what I've been doing lately, I've got mono backing, which gives me some of the stretch, and I got six to eight foot of fluorocarbon that I tie to that mono, especially when I'm in real, real clear water lakes like we're on now, and that makes a difference. You know, when we're fishing deeper than 15 foot of water, there's some go-to sizes that we like for the Rapala Jig and Wrap and the Rip and Wrap. The number seven and number nine are go-to money baits when you're fishing deep water like this. Um, the Rip and Wrap size is a number seven. We love these, these sizes for fishing deeper than 15 foot of water. You know, these modern electronics are a quantum leap of the electronics of yesteryear. And what Hummingbird has is this feature called Chirp in them. And what Chirp does is, well, it's kind of complicated. So let me break it down into layman's terms so you can understand why it's so important for deep water fishing. No question, electronics speed up the fish finding process. State-of-the-art high-definition Lake Master maps are priceless tools to refine the search process. Today, the best spots we have found are large points leading offshore and sunken islands that dump into the deep basin. The fish are on hard to soft bottom transition areas in 27 to 30 feet of water. By selecting the depth highlight range using the depth highlight feature, we can identify all the key areas to fish. All these key spots are literally highlighted on the map. Once we get to these areas, we rely on our sonar to find where the fish are. And one of the new buzzwords in sonar is CHIRP, or Compressed High Intensity Radar Pulse. So you may ask, how will this help me catch more fish? So here's the Twitter on CHIRP. Traditional sonar sends a single sonar pulse to display an image. CHIRP sends a continuous range of sonar frequencies from low to high. In a nutshell, the amount of data a CHIRP sonar fish finder interprets and displays is far more than a single frequency traditional sonar. Here are some key benefits we've seen using CHIRP. Number one, the display provides more detail, a clear picture of the water column and better definition of schools of bait fish and game fish. Number two, CHIRP has incredible target separation and reveals bottom hugging fish like we're fishing today over soft mud bottom. Number three, CHIRP shines for vertical fishing presentations like drop shotting, 
the bait, sinker, and fish are easy to see. So to answer the second part of the question, yes, chirp can help you catch more fish. Simply okay. put, better information, or in other words, better sonar readout, makes fish finding easier. Man, there's a school and a half on this break here. We've got for about, looks to me, about a hundred yards, hundred yards of walleyes. A lot biggest school we've been on today. I'm slip drifting back. I'm, I'm fishing up, then we're slip drifting back. I'm fishing up, we're slip drifting back. And there's fish on this whole break from 27 to about 32. Big pot of them. You know, like in most fishing situations, boat control is paramount, and walleye fishing is no exception. You'll notice Al's on that Ultrex, and he's manually controlling the boat up and down this break. But the Ultrex has a feature in it, so you can, if, if these fish were on a specific depth, you can hit follow contour on there, and that, and that Ultrex operates with iPilot link, and it'll stay right on that break. But Al's kind of old school, manually running that thing, so that Ultrex gives you the opportunity to fish manually or go remote if you want. Got whoop out another one on the. Oh, oh, we're moving when they do it. that, look at the rod. Yeah. When they do that, they don't want to come up. They just bulldog. Whoa. Oh. This could be a hero hito. For 70 years, you've known us for our high performance rods. Now, it's time to meet our machinery. 32 pairs of hands. Touch, craft, and test each St. Croix rod. Overkill, not with our reputation on the line. St. Croix, the best rods on earth. Say goodbye to winter and hello to spring for your outdoor needs at Mills Fleet Farm, where you'll save with low fleet prices. Prepare for outdoor entertaining. There's a new selection of barbecue grills and new styles of patio furniture that offer comfort and durability. Shop now for wheelbarrows, rakes, and long tractors. Plus, be ready to tackle outdoor projects with a new log splitter, chainsaw, or power tool. For everything outdoors, it's Mills Fleet Farm. We are outdoors. Can't get enough Angling Edge? Wish you could learn more than you saw on TV? You can. Angling Edge DVDs dive deep into fish catching techniques that couldn't fit on air. It's like extra innings or overtime of Angling Edge. Choose from dozens of titles featuring your favorite freshwater fish. Purchase five DVDs at the incredible low price of $25. That's five DVDs for just 25 bucks. Purchase two sets and get free shipping too. Visit anglingedge.com to place your order. Yeah, we're well, here for Angling Buzz. I'm Tony Road. Brian Rolston. Lee Talkin here. Brad Durick up here on the Red River. The Muskegon River. Leech Lake. Devil's Lake. Beautiful Lake Vermillion. Black. Top water's been really, really fun. Go to the plastics. Bath like this. A lot of wallies like that. Giant bluegills. From Sturgeon Bay. Lake Sakakawea. Yeah. Lake Winnie Region. Northern Wisconsin. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Check us out on the web. Current up-to-date fishing info from the best anglers in the Midwest. Learn from the pros at anglingbuzz.com. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. He's coming up by you, Al. I don't see him yet. Boy, when you mark that many fish, it's, you can almost call your shots. You know you're gonna get a, get a bite. All right, let me come back for the net. You're gentle. Look at this guy. Whoa. Big, 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 big he just oh, yeah, barely beat cooked. Big gal. Yep. Big gal. Hang on. Everybody steady. Steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. This is the queen of the castle. Nice fish. Ooh. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Hang on. I know, I know, I'm I know. I'm just drifting. Hang on. Uh, yeah! That is another Mogata. As Al would, as Al coined the phrase, Mo Gata. Get this dude out. 
I spot locked again. Boy, that's one big fish, Dan. I, I don't know if it's as big as that first one, but it's close. <laughs> Look at that, Al. That is so much fun. If you've never tried uh, this reactionary bite, you have to do it. It is so much fun. Whether you're fishing with a rip and wrap or a jig and wrap, it is just a blast, man. And you catch big fish, you catch a lot of fish, you just catch fish. Hey, Dano, thanks for joining us again on the closings. It's mm -hmm. really a blessing to me uh, to hear some of the things that you've shared with me at the office and on the road talking about di di different things, how the hand of God has touched you and influenced you and uh, people in your life. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> one thing I wanted to talk about, I guess, is faith. A lot of people think of faith, uh, they think of religious terms. They think uh, you're a Baptist, Lutheran, Presbyterian, et cetera, et cetera. When in actuality, what is faith according to the Bible? Well, God's word is pretty simple. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, That's what faith is. Yeah, and growing up, I was never bashful about my faith. Uh, I believe Jesus was a man, died for my sins, rose again, and is sitting at the right hand of the Father right now. I believe that like an arrow. And I guess that makes me a Christian. That's my mm -hmm. faith. And growing up, I was never bashful about that. All of my friends knew where I stood. And many of them had different beliefs. Some were agnostic and some were atheists. And I found it interesting <clears throat> throughout the years, many of those people came to know the Lord the way that I do. And I planted a seed with them a long mm -hmm. time ago mm -hmm. and I was never gonna change their mind back then and they were never gonna change <laughs> mine. But through, for whatever reason, they came to know the Lord. And I found that interesting that the Lord moves at certain times in people's lives for certain reasons. You know, and well, I'm sure seed, you've experienced that. Seed planting is a key thing. That's what we do on the show on the close. I feel really led to to to, to share experiences of, of, of what God's word is, how it played in my life. And we plant seeds and uh, a, a lot of them, you get feedback many years later. Yeah, I've right. got feedback 30 years later, stuff that I didn't even know I said or did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and uh, uh, it's a real blessing sometimes. Sometimes I re read them in the feedback letters we, we get. But one thing for sure, God's word is clear as a bell that, that, that he is moved by faith. Mm -hmm. That's what moves God, yep. faith. It's not, it's not circumstances, it's not your good deeds, all of these things, it comes from the heart. And that happens in many different ways. It's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Father through Jesus. That's what this word is about. And everything that moves him is faith driven. Again, what is faith according to the Word of God? It's real simple. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You and I right now are planting seeds. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some feedback from, from, from you on what we just shared, and I'm sure we probably yep. will. That's our job, seed yep. planters, Dano. Yep. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Thanks again for being with us, Dano. <laughs> yep. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.